The unity between faith has been the central theme of the pontiff's trip, and the declaration called for religious harmony for the sake of humanity. Pope Francis and a top Indonesian imam warned against using religion to trigger conflict before the 87-year-old pontiff held a mass for tens of thousands at a football stadium in Jakarta. In a speech before leaders of Indonesia's six recognized religions of Islam, Protestantism, Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism and Confucianism, Pope Francis underlined a message of unity saying and i quote we are all brothers all pilgrims all on our way to god before what differentiate us <laughs> The declaration signed at the Istiqlal Mosque also pinpointed the environmental crisis as a threat to human civilization and called for decisive actions to counter global warming. He said climate change has led to various destructive consequences such as natural disasters, global warming and unpredictable weather patterns. Nazaruddin emphasized before the meeting that he and the Pope were focused on two messages. Uh, we have two big messages. The first one, how important uh, of humanity, you know, for me, for us, humanity is only one, there is no colors. And the second one, how to save uh, our environment. So humanity and environment, this is two kind of topics very important today. The Pope was welcomed to the mosque by a percussion band often used in Islamic ceremonies. Once seated, he and Nasaruddin listened to a passage from the Quran recited by a young vision impaired girl and a passage from the Bible. Francis also visited a tunnel of friendship that links the mosque to Jakarta's cathedral across the street, signing a section of the tunnel. Catholics represent fewer than 3% of the population of Indonesia, about 8 million people, compared with the 87% or 242 million Muslim population.